All right, Tim, yep. busy man still. Yeah, let's talk about the tropics, guys. Even though we have just over two weeks left in the hurricane season here in 2017, another system could be brewing out there, and this will be our S name, our 18th name storm of the season, Sean. And this will likely be a subtropical storm. If you can kind of pinpoint where it is on the map there, that's Spain all the way on the right side of your screen there. So very, very far away from North America and likely will not be impacting us here. However, up in the United Kingdom, Europe, Maybe not so much here at all. All right, here close to home, though, dealing with some uh, clouds out there this morning. They're going to give way to mostly sunny skies this afternoon. Remaining chilly, though, our temperatures are very comparable with yesterday in the low to mid 50s. We're dry, sunny and gradually warmer through the rest of the work week. My pick of the week is Thursday, and that's when we climb into the mid 60s. It'll feel balmy compared to where we've been at, but it's not going to last too long. A very strong cold front arrives here on Saturday, bringing with it our next rain chances, but behind it, some big drops in our temperatures as well. By early next week, highs in the 40s yet again. 50 right now at the door in Norfolk, but this is kind of misleading because you head inland just a few miles. You're in the 40s and even farther inland, you'll find some 30s out there. 45 Newport News, 47 in Chesapeake, 41 Suffolk, 38 in Conway, 43 in Williamsburg, 48 out in Virginia Beach. High pressure control now, a very broad area, so it's going to do a good job of keeping any unsettled weather away. It's not going to keep our skies completely sunny and cloud free. Clouds will work on through, but as this moves southeast and offshore, our winds will start to get a southerly component, and that means our temperatures will be on their way up. Today and tomorrow, a little bit below average. The average is 62, 65 by Friday or Thursday, excuse me, 56 on Friday, and then we peak again to 66 on Saturday, ahead of that front and behind it. Look what happens to our temperatures by early next week. The mid to upper 40s. Yeah, all right, here's how it looks on Futurecast. Uh, those northerly winds going to eat away at that cloud cover, so we'll transition over to some sunny skies, but temperature-wise, not warming up a whole lot. Very comparable with our 55 that we had yesterday, even maybe a degree or two cooler than that. Tonight, back into the upper 30s inland, upper 40s close to the coastline, and then look what happens throughout the day tomorrow. Our winds get a little more of an easterly component, and that draws in a little more cloud cover, and I put about a 10% chance at an isolated shower on that easterly flow. So keep that in mind tomorrow. Not going to be the sunny, crystal clear day, but there is a chance at an isolated shower. Much better weather for Thursday. Here's how it looks outside today in terms of our temperatures topping out low to middle 50s pretty much no matter where you go. 57 in Williamsburg, 54 in Newport News. Up along the eastern shore, low 50 in Assawadex down to Cape Charles, down through the Outer Banks, uh, mid 50s in Kill Devil Hills over to Manio, 56 Elizabeth City, interior of North Carolina, 53 Ahoski, 54 out in Gatesville. Look at that beautiful sunrise taking shape out there on the eastern shore. 44 tonight, clear skies inland. You'll see some 30s once again, and there's your seven day, 53 today. 65 on Thursday, and 60s again ahead of some rain coming in Saturday afternoon.